Perform a check rain jailbreak. Setting up the exploit. Uh, this is a bit of a bruh moment. Screw it. Install Cydia. Oh, look, we got Tux. We've done it. What do you know about iPhones? Because I don't know anything. I've been using Android phones since... After the iPhone 4 came out? Anyway, the Apple iPhone. It's it's a complete enigma to me. This one is an iPhone 7. It comes equipped with the human slime upgrade. And this operating system? I hate it. It's no good. Look at this. Ready? Let me put this here. So you know what we're gonna be doing today? We're gonna be fixing the iPhone's biggest flaw, which is not putting a Type-C port in because Apple already took care of that one. We're gonna be getting rid of iOS and installing Android. We are putting actual Android on this thing. And let me explain how we're gonna be doing that. So there's something out there called Project Sandcastle. This is something that some really smart dude was working on a while ago that lets you run Android on the iPhone. Not this iPhone, although you can run Android on the iPhone 3G, and I kind of want to make a video about that too. But this project is kind of like a spiritual successor to that one, except that it works on a more modern iPhone. Specifically, the iPhone 7 that we have right here. But not just any iPhone 7. You need an iPhone 7 with iOS 13 on it, or at least that's what you originally need. I think there's a way to do this with iOS 15, but I'm not 100% sure. You will have to do your own research on that one. So what is step one to installing Android on your iPhone? Well, I have no idea. So, dear viewer, let's go on a journey. Let's figure out how to put Android on this iPhone together. Okay, step one, computer. So Project Sandcastle here actually lets you do more than just install Android. You can even install Linux, and that's a whole nother beast in itself. We're just gonna be doing Android. All right, step one, perform a check rain jailbreak. I assumed jailbreaking was gonna be part of this in some way. I had a feeling that Tim Apple was not gonna be letting you waltz into the app store and download Android. This beta is only available for Mac OS and Linux. Wonderful. I thought I was gonna get away with this without having to use Linux, but apparently not. All right, here we go. Lucky for me, I'm already dual booting on this computer. Okay, let's try this one more time, Linux style. And now I will be using my advanced copying and pasting skills. And just like that, Check Rain is installed. All right, this is great. Wow, I can't launch Check Rain because my terminal is too small. That's a new one. How about now? Yeah! There we go. Welcome to Check Rain, iOS 7 connected in normal mode with love from Kim Jong Cracks. Very cool. I didn't know that the uh, glorious leader was a hobby jailbreak dev nowadays. With your phone still connected, run setupmac.sh. Okay, well this is certainly not a Mac. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through Check Rain, I guess, on here and see what happens. The device needs to be put into DFU mode to apply the jailbreak. This is a manual process and we will guide you through it. I kind of remember some of this stuff. I used to be really into jailbreak breaking and all that. But you know what I'm more into nowadays? Telling you guys about Opera. With Opera, it's not just about speed. It's a reimagining of what a web browser can be. It's packed with features that make navigating the internet easier and more convenient all by default. Opera is completely changing the way that you typically interact with a web browser. But don't worry, you can still go to eelslap.com while listening to Kevin McLeod's Cypher. When you're done with Cypher, you can easily pick the next track with a dedicated music player that's here in the sidebar that can connect to Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Tidal, and more. And remember Tabs? Yeah, this is them now. Feel old yet? Tabs grew up and became Tab Islands. You can group related tabs and then expand or collapse them with a single click so that you can keep everything you need open while still staying organized. Everyone knows that for the best internet browsing experience, an ad blocker and a VPN are pretty much required. That's why Opera's included both, and the built-in VPN even works system-wide as well. And my favorite feature of Opera by far though is the Aria AI integration. I don't think it's a secret that I I'm not a Linux expert, and so when I have to go off the beaten path instead of using guides that hold your hand through everything, things can get pretty hairy for me pretty fast. I personally use Aria to quickly figure out different ways that I can reach my end goal, which lets me forge my own path that I wouldn't have been able to figure out on my own otherwise. Aria can be prompted lightning quick with control forward slash to bring up the command window, which speeds up this whole process even more. If all that sounds good to you, then go ahead and download Opera for free through the link in the description. Oh. Oh, it's doing stuff. But like I was saying, I used to be into jailbreaking iPhones way more, and then I got my first Android device, and I was like, huh, this just does what a jailbroken iPhone does, but I don't have to jailbreak it. And uh, ever since then, I haven't really looked back. Time to put the device into DFU mode. Locate the buttons as marked below on your device and check the instructions on the right before clicking start. Oh, 
Okay, setting up the exploit. Wow, this is easy. Back in my day, you had to load up Red Snow on your iPhone 4, and you had to put it in DFU mode by holding the home button, except the home button's not a button anymore. It's just a little tiny fake, not real. Oh, whoa, this looks fine. So that's it, all done. Oh yeah, look, there it is. Okay, well, that was remarkably easy. Perform the jailbreak. You should now be looking at the screen of a jailbroken iPhone 7. Nothing else installing Cydia or tweaks is required. Okay, so normally I'm used to having to go into whatever exploit and then getting Cydia from there, but I guess we don't need Cydia for this. Okay, so now we need to get a hold of the Linux build of Sandcastle. Oh, the Linux version is already in here. I just have to make it. All right, we have an executable. Okay, so now we need to send this thing a file. IP 10.1.10.238. Connection refused. How dare you. Okay, so this is a bit of a bruh moment because I need to connect to the iPhone with SCP, but I don't think I have like the server running on here. I think enabling it requires a tweak in Cydia. Uh, I mean, I guess I could do that. Sure, screw it. Install Cydia. Well, that was also pretty easy. Not really sure what I was afraid of there. Oh man, this brings me back, dude. Good times. Wow, Cydia has not changed at all. So I think all we need is open SSH. All right, let's try again. Store key and cache, yes. What's the password? I don't know, Alpine. Access granted. All right, so we transferred our file. This is going pretty well. Okay, so now we gotta get into where we just moved that file. There it is right there, I set up. Now do we just run it? Uh, I didn't like that. What do you mean no such file or directory? It's right there. Oh, oh, we're going. Oh, we're going. This has been going pretty good so far. I'm happy with this. We're finally gonna have a usable iPhone. This is crazy. I'm afraid not. What do you mean no such file or directory? It's right there. Okay, we are now in something called Pongo OS. Not to be confused with Tongo OS. In theory, that will let us boot Android. Failed to transfer image to device. Okay, that's epic. Okay, this is just not working. New plan, MacBook moment. Okay, you're supposed to do this on a Mac anyway, so I really should have started with this. It seems like in all my videos, I always start with Linux and then end up on yeah, something on else. Macintosh. A coincidence? Uh, I don't know, you guys tell me. All right, let's see if it works. Epic, forgot to get the jailbreak tool. How about now? Nope. Please put device into DFU. It is. Finder knows that it's in DFU mode. So, oh, can you not do that? Can you just open it, dude? Hold on. Thank you, Apple, for protecting me from myself, from a program that I downloaded. Okay, there we go. Now that I've given myself permission to open my own file. Okay, there we go, found DFU device. No, no, why? Why are you like this? <clears throat> why? That is frustrating, dude. Okay, one more time. Oh my, God. are you kidding me? It was so close, it was so close. Failed to transfer image, wonderful. Okay, I'm a little worried now because this is the same exact error that I was getting in Linux. Well, shit. Okay, I think I just need a different version of check rain. Let's see. Now it's crashing every time. Man, this is fun. I love this. This is so definitely worth it. That is awesome. Check Rain is a good app. Whoa, whoa, wait, hey, hey, hold on, hold on. It just worked. Maybe. Well, look, we got Tux. We got two of them. It's a, it's a good sign, right? Hell of a uh, output here. Um. Well, hopefully it's loading. I don't know. I guess I'll give it a little bit. Yeah, no, it's just sitting here. Okay, I'm gonna redo the entire process, but from the ground up on Mac OS. <laughs> Fellas. We've done it. Android 10. I am astounded that I've gotten to this point. I do not know if I could recreate this. I had to download so many bizarre versions of all of the different tools that I was using across two different computers, across two different OSs. I'm amazed that this works. We also only have a gigabyte of storage free now. Okay, so here we are in Android 10. I think it's slightly customized because of these like square icons. Kind of funny that there's navigation keys down here when there's still a home button. The home button doesn't do anything. But oh man, there's not much. Actually, 
We don't even have a web browser. Bruh. Let alone Google Play. We have Signal for some reason? Um, huh. Okay, so the first couple apps I'm gonna have to send over a USB cable with ADB. So hold on, we're not done with the computer yet. Okay, I've spent an afternoon with this thing. This is what you need to know about installing apps. So when you download an APK and try and install it on here over ADB, it is really common that you're gonna get this error, no matching ABIs. This means that the app that you're trying to install uses native code that was pre-compiled for a specific type of CPU architecture. And on the iPhone here, it's just not gonna work. While the A10 CPU in this thing technically is an ARM processor, and we'll delve more into that later, it's different enough that it won't run most Android ARM binaries right out of the box. So we have two options then. Recompile apps for the A10 CPU that's in this thing, or use purely Java apps. A lot of Android apps were almost entirely written in Java, and the code would run using the Java runtime that's built into the operating system. And this version of Android here has Java, so purely Java apps can still work. Also, this thing is missing support for hardware acceleration, so any app that utilizes the GPU in any way will not work which unfortunately excludes almost all games and definitely all emulators. I'm sorry, but you're just not gonna be playing Test Drive Unlimited on iPhone Android. And I may be just a little bit incorrect about how all of this works and everything I just said, because I'm really not an expert on this, but I believe that's the gist of it. So since I'm definitely not qualified to be decompiling and recompiling Android apps, I've curated a selection of exquisite Java-only Android apps, and we'll be experiencing every single one of them on the Apple iPhone 7 today. The first app I'm going to look at is this one that just shows the specs. Fingerprint says plus. Hold on, can you use the fingerprint reader on here? I would be amazed if they figured out how to get the driver for the, the fingerprint sensor working on this thing. Touch the sensor. It's on the back of your phone. That is not true, but okay. Use your index finger. I don't think it makes a difference, but what if I do touch the back of the phone? What happens? Nope. Okay, so nope, fingerprint sensor does not work. Two gigabytes of dedicated wham. Okay, so here is the Apple A10 CPU. Dual core, 64-bit, and in theory, this thing should work with ARM64 V8A compiled apps, but in my experience installing random apps to this thing, it just doesn't quite work like that. Even apps that say they're supported will still fail to install, and I think that's where the hardware acceleration issue comes into play. At the same time, though, I am kind of a simpleton, so who knows? Governor, conservative. Good to know the CPU goes to church every Sunday. GPU is Google Swift Shader. Vendor Google, OpenGL, ES, Google. I got a feeling that's kind of like Microsoft Basic Display Adapter on uh, Windows. In my experience on here, nothing that requires the GPU works at all. So that's odd. Anyway, brand Android, model Sandcastle. So yeah, it has the Java virtual machine. So Java apps do work. The internal storage is also really limited. You get like less than a gigabyte to work with. Camera does not work. Surprisingly, this battery information seems accurate. Thermals, 30 degrees Celsius. Oh man, this thing was getting hot earlier. Anywhere on the metal part of the chassis was actually like burning my fingers. It was like I and Neo 2S levels of heat. Accelerometer, does it work? No. Light sensor, no data. Proximity, no data. Magnometer, nope. Gyroscope, no. Barometer, nothing. Cool, so none of those work at all. Uh, I don't think the speakers work. Yeah, no sound. So there's a lot on here that just straight up does not work. I'm really not surprised because this is kind of just like the bare minimum to get Android working at all. But anyway, let's take a look at some things that do work. So one of the first things I did was I got Aurora Store on here. And if you're not familiar with Aurora Store, it's just a front end for downloading APKs pretty much. They've got a whole bunch of different APKs hosted on here that you can download. It's useful if you have a device with no Google Play services like this one, because you can't get Google Play Store. This lets you at least have some kind of marketplace type setup for downloading apps. Um, but it is a little bit buggy. It just kind of does this forever. So it's hard to browse for stuff. There's a little more loading now than it was earlier. Um, but yeah, let me show you what happens when a game will not install. Prodigy math, kids game. So we go to install the app. Oh wow, did this one work? No, okay. That's even worse than normal. I didn't even get an error message this time. Anyway. No! <laughs> no! I also installed F-Droid, which is another thing kind of like Aurora Store. You can just find more apps to download on here. Um, but once again, most of the stuff here just does not work. Not the fault of any of the apps. It's the fault of Android being on an iPhone. Hold on, gotta make sure I clear out the recents. Need as much RAM as we can get. With Microsoft PowerPoint here, you can open it and get a little bit in there. Ah! But that's it. Let me try again. Oh. Nope, nothing. So that's pretty common too if you do get an app installed, like with Flow Free here. Oh. 
It just does the same thing. But there are a handful of apps that do actually just work, like this one. This is Via, it's just a web browser. And this thing, not only is it a web browser, it's also a space heater. Nope. It's also not working. There we go. This thing's probably due for a restart, but I have to reload Android from my PC every nope. single time I restart it. And I don't know nope. if I can nope. replicate what I did to get this nope. running. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's heating up. Please. Nope. Please. Wow, it broke. This isn't even the same launcher. What's, What's happening? happening? I have managed to type YT. Good enough. Or not. The Android on iPhone experience. No, the whole thing is locked up. Oh no. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Where did my apps go? Oh, it's... It's like a live booted operating system. It's not persistent storage. My apps are all gone. <sighs> okay, I'll be right back again. Okay, we're all rebooted and good to go again. This might be a bad idea, but I'm going to risk nope. going to YouTube nope. again. Oh. oh, and it instantly crashed. That's probably because it's trying to use hardware acceleration to play that YouTube video, if I had to guess. Or because this thing is just a giant piece of sh But either way, let's order a sandwich! Look at that, Jersey Mike's. Start a new order. Order it to my house. There we go, in-store pickup. One ham and provolone, please. Add to order. Order for Bringle Man. Wow, look at that. I could actually place an order at Jersey Mike's right now. You can't do much on this, but you can order a sandwich. What else can we do? We can make a meme. These are some good memes. Install Android on iPhone. Challenge accepted. Save. Share meme. Bluetooth. I wonder if Bluetooth works. I didn't even test it. Uh, settings keep stopping. Okay, I don't think we have Bluetooth. I think I also lost my meme. Nope, okay, it's still here. Thank goodness. Can we take screenshots? Yes, yes we can. Wonderful, what else can we do? Eat poop? <coughs> Welcome to eat poop, you cat. This is a game kind of like telephone. Mingus snooping as- Write a more better sentence. Mingus snooping as no. And then you have to draw this sentence. Yep, that looks like Mingus snooping as no. You know, then you just pass the phone to somebody else and then they gotta describe it. You know that game. Anyway, the final game that works, and probably the best, is chess. Nope. Oh. No, no, no. I know this works. I tested it. Play. All right, Jimmy, let's do this. All right, here we go. Is it Jimmy's turn or mine? New. Nope. You move. How do you move him? Go. Flipboard. Forward. New. I don't know how to play chess. Okay, there we go. If we don't play against a computer, it works. All right, sorry, other guest, but I actually don't know how to play chess, so we're gonna leave that match. Can we cast? Uh, no. I'm guessing that needs Google Play services. Wow, we have killed the battery about 50% just looking at these stupid games. But other than that, that's about it for Android on the iPhone. It's here, it works, sorta. Do I recommend you do this? No, this was terrible. The instructions were outdated. You have to install old versions of the tools to get this working. Everything is broken, don't do this. But at the same time, like, okay, it's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, thanks for going on this journey with me of installing Android on the iPhone 7. But while you're here, hey, wanna see me game on a Chinese to English translator pen? You wanna see me take a look at a Sega gaming computer? Wanna see me put emulators on a LeapFrog? Maybe Steam on the PS4? All of these and more are available on my beautiful channel here. And there's even more on Patreon, like this video that I just posted the other day about my inspirations for my channel, featuring some of my favorite gamers throughout history. Find it all in the description, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.